This video demonstrates how to mount and set up the online data validator on your T6000 thermal printer. First, unpack the ODV unit. The package includes one ODV unit, one mounting bracket, four Allen screws, two Phillips head screws, one adjustment screw, tie wraps, hex tool. Before installing, your printer should be powered off and disconnected from the AC power source. Choose the pair of holes on the mounting bracket based on your printer model width, four or six inch, and then attach the validator securely to the bracket using the two Phillips head screws provided. Attach the validator bracket to the printer frame using the four Allen wrench screws and the hex key tool provided. Once the validator and bracket are mounted to the printer, connect the DB15 power data cable to the validator. It is important to secure the cable to the mounting bracket using the supplied tie wraps. Push any excess slack on the cable through the grommet in the frame. Before powering on the printer, look under the validator and verify that the lens is free of dirt and smudging that may have occurred during installation. Clean the glass lens, if required, with household glass cleaner and a lint-free cloth. Once the validator is mounted and connected, plug in the AC power cord and turn the printer power on. After the printer has finished powering up, proceed to beam alignment. If the red validator scanning beam is not visible after the printer has finished powering up, press the reset button on the validator for less than two seconds to turn the beam on. Confirm that the beam is aligned just behind the front edge of the tear bar. If adjustment is needed, loosen the four screws that secure the bracket to the frame and move the bracket forward or back when properly aligned, tighten all four screws. If the beam is not parallel with the edge of the tear bar, install the adjustment screw provided into one of the threaded holes left or right of the Phillips head screws on the validator bracket. It may be necessary to loosen the Phillips head screws holding the validator onto the bracket. Tighten the adjustment screw only enough to make the beam parallel. Make sure that the scanning beam extends a half inch or more beyond both edges of the installed media. Use the beam shift setting under validator menu to shift the beam left or right until the desired beam placement is reached. Negative value is left, positive value is right. Be sure to save permanently. After all adjustments are made, you are ready to test and print using your online data validator. A barcode demo can be done to test the validator, confirming that the read light on the validator turns on and the beam moves over the barcode successfully reads Symbology. The barcode demo print test is located in the Tools menu. You can also test the case where your validator detects a missing or damaged barcode by covering the beam during printing and observing the action taken based on the validator action setting. Actions can be set within the validator menu. In this case, the validator action is set to retry form, the factory default. So bad labels are overstruck using the grid pattern, also factory default, and then reprinted. This guarantees barcode readability on all labels that are not overstruck. Here are some hints to make sure that your setup is performing at its best. Periodically clean the lens on the validator with household glass cleaner and lint-free cloth to remove dirt or smudging from the glass that could lead to distorting the barcode images during scanning. For your printed labels, adjust print intensity just enough to make sure there is no voids in the barcodes during printing. Always maintain an adequate quiet zone. This is the white space to the left and right of the barcode, about one half inch is desirable. For additional T6000 product information, visit PrintronicsAutoID.com.